All right, today's video is going to cover uh, how to create or build a very useful date table in SQL. I uh, found this out on codeproject.com. Uh, it was a really detailed article. I'll put that link in the description. Uh, what's really great about this is uh, it walks you through building the table, uh, shows you uh, how to create it. It walks you through how it iterates, um, you know, start date, end date. Here's a script here. Uh, so we're going to start with the 14th and the 18th. It runs really quick. Um, and this table in the end is, is very useful. So it's going to look something like this. You're going to have your you know, a date key or uh, your, your date integer column, uh, your traditional um, month, day, year column, as well as, you know, day of the week, um, some of these attributes. Is it a holiday, um, fiscal, day of the quarter? Uh, so there's some really useful stuff in here. Uh, that can be used in a lot of reporting. I think most businesses will have some sort of date table like this built so that you can join on. Uh, you can do certain scans like here, Holiday UK, US. This 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 article was very detailed. Uh, it was really good. Uh, so like I said, the link to that will be in the description. And uh, we'll, I'll walk you through real quick how, on what it's doing. So here we've got our, we've got our database here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and rename this since you know, I already have a table in here titled dim date. Actually, let's just do this. Let's delete this. All right, and we're gonna run this. So I've got my database that I'm using, prod uh, for production. Uh, so you can see first we're, we're establishing the structure of the table. We're gonna build out the columns, assign the data types, and we're gonna run this. We have a primary key is, is our date, uh, our date integer. So we'll run this, it runs very quickly. And then do we have the table insert um, here? So at the top, you can uh, you can get both of these files out on GitHub. Uh, that way you don't have to necessarily do a bunch of copy and pasting. Uh, the The article that will be linked in the description will explain what's, what's going on in each block of code. But in the event, all you want is you just want the, the scripts. You can get those on Professor Pitch GitHub. And then if you need a different date range, you can change them in these variables here. So we'll run this. And just like that, we have a date table. It's very, very quick, very fast. Let's uh, refresh our table structure. We'll select into this, and there it is. All right, if you have any questions or comments down below, um, feel free to leave those. Thanks for watching today's video. Thanks so much.